is life where we need to save it Conserve it, please don't waste it Use it when it's necessary For cooking, drinking and beating the heat Save the water, save the water Save the water Everybody needs to come together To conserve and to save our water, save the water We can do the it, water. yes we can do it Water is life, but we can lose it We ask you to conserve we have to utilize the water save responsibly. The water, save the water, save the water. This is Jamo and Rajesh with a message from Guyana Water Incorporated and Paul. This is GWI's Customer Alert, a program brought to you by the nation's water utility, the Guyana Water Incorporated. I'm your host, Timothy Austin, and in this week's broadcast, we want to continue a series of programs on the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement program the GSIP and we'll be joined this week by the project manager um, Mr. Oren Brown and he'll be telling you our customers in Central Georgetown all you need to know about this improvement program so if you have a business in Central Georgetown or you're living there we want to urge you to pay special attention to this broadcast we'll be advising you on some of the traffic diversion some of the use of heavy equipment um, everything you need to know about your involvement in this program and of course it's meant to improve the sanitation system within Central Georgetown and then later on will return for your questions answered and some of your, your viewers would have seen our full page advertisements in our, the weekly newspapers and you would have seen the list of areas we'll be working in for the Georgian Sanitation Improvement Program and you've posted some of your concerns, some of your queries and questions about the program on the wall of our Facebook page and we'll be answering some of those questions tonight. And we hope you'll stay because we'll also update you on everything happening in the water sector with this week's edition of GWI's News Desk. Hope you'll stay with us for all of that. But first up, as always, here's this week's Water Wise Tip. A patch of water on dry road on a sunny day is a clear sign of a leak. Report leaks to GWI on 227-8701. A message from Guyana Water Incorporated. Welcome back to GWI's Customer Alert. And if you're just joining us, this week we're once again we're updating you on the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program. And of course, we told you a bit about that last week. And joining us now is the project manager responsible for that huge undertaking, the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program. And he's Mr. Oren Brown. Oren, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Timothy. And tonight, as I told you earlier, we'll be updating our viewers, particularly our viewers in Central Georgetown. If you're living in Central Georgetown or if you have a business there, we urge you to pay special attention to this segment because we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program and what it will do to benefit you as a customer or user of the sanitation system. 
and Oren, of course, um, we had a special consultation um, just a few weeks ago, which we invited some members of the business community and some residents. Um, but we wanted to give everybody a good idea of what will be involved in this project. But could you give us a bit of a background on the, um, well, we call it GSIP, Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program. Could, there, of course, it's an agreement between the IDB. It's a program that is funded by the government of Guyana through the Inter-American Development Bank, the IDB. But could you tell us how did the entire thing come about? Okay, thank you very much, Timothy. And a special good night to our viewers. Uh, the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program is an initiative by the government of Guyana and funded by the, the IDB for at a tune of US $10 million. Now, there are several components that comprise the entire program, but of specific interest is the, the priority works, which we consider as the, the main works under the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program. Now, the scope of the work entails the complete rehabilitation of the entire sewer system. Now, the sewer system, as we know it today, is over 70 years old. There are pipelines that are, have been there in existence over 75 to 80 years old and there are 24 sewer station that is connected to the, to the system that receives the sewer that is being pumped into the Atlantic. And so given the deplorable stage or the de deplorable state of the system today, it was a wise initiative, a very wise investment on behalf of the government of Guyana to address the issue of the poor level of service that the business community and the residents in general are being experienced, uh, have, have been experienced over the last couple of years. And so this program is geared to completely rehabilitate and overall the entire system. Great. A lot, a lot, that sounds like a, a huge project and I know yes. you're tasked with all of that, um, Oren. Yes. Um, and we should mention, you mentioned that the, um, the sewer mains themselves will be rehabilitated. Yes. The sewer mains will be rehabilitated. As a matter of fact, we will be replacing over 12 kilometers of pipelines that are in existence, that are old, that are full of encrustation, and that are, that are leaky, and that is creating pop-ups around the, around the city where leakage and other adverse um, occurrences is prevalent. And so we try to eliminate all of that under this program. Great, and I know a lot of our viewers, of, of those who may have experienced um, overflows in the past, or and they're happy to hear that um, the government of Ghana has invested in this program, to, uh, and it's all to improve the sanitation system in Georgetown. Very well. Right. Uh, Oren, could you tell us, and we should mention, of course, that we had some very nice, I should say, full-page ads um, in all of the daily newspapers um, yes. advising um, our customers in central Georgetown about the streets where we'll be working while this program is being executed. But um, in terms of the actual civil works, what will customers see? I know you have a lot of large equipment will be involved. We have some breaking of, um, of excavating, I should say, of um, some roadways. Could you yes. just give our viewers a, a clear picture of what they'll actually see as the program is being um, executed? Definitely. Now, let me say, first of all, that there will be some level of disruption, and these disruptions will be affecting the residents as well as the business community in central Georgetown itself. Now, some of these, uh, some of these disruptions include the damages to utility, utility cables, breakage of water mains, diversion of traffic, and damage to bridges and entrances. So these are some of the disruptions that will occur. It's unavoidable, but we try our best to minimize them as, to the max, to the maximum. Mm -hmm. So indeed, um, if, if it's necessary to break the bridge of a customer, we will, we will have to do that as the project is being executed. But I think later in our, in our Your Questions Answered segment, one of our customers actually posted on a Facebook page asking, you know, if my bridge um, has to be involved in this, um, would it be reinstated? So we'll answer some of those questions um, tonight. Most we'll definitely, Timothy. Great. And you mentioned traffic diversion. Of course, we are working or in closely with the traffic department. Yes. And we will advise customers about that. Could you tell us a, a bit about, about that? Yes. Well, as part of the overall management strategy for this project, we have enlisted the services uh, due, through to widespread consultation with our major stakeholders, including the traffic, the traffic department through the Ghana Police Force, the Mayor and City Council, and other important utility um, bodies. And so we'll be working in collaboration 
hand in hand on a daily basis to ensure that the diver diversion of traffic is done in the most effective and efficient way and to reduce any inconvenience that drivers and, and commuters would be experienced. Right, and, and we also mentioned to them in the full page ad in newspapers or in that we will have the use of um, large equipment, but we wanted to ensure that our customers know that every um, bit of health and safety is taken into account. We are doing our yes. best. Every bit of safety, of their safety, is taken into account in this project. Definitely. Safety comes first. And as a motto of the water company, we try and strive to make sure that safety is at the forefront of every one of our projects. We take special interest and keen emphasis in ensuring that for all of our contracts, that contractors, the civil contractors, would submit a safety plan, an approved safety plan, that would be checked by our health and safety department to ensure that it complies with the nature of the work that is to be executed. In this regard, we have a comprehensive safety plan where heavy equipment is to be used. There will be caution tape, there will be uh, barriers, there will be signs, lighted signs, very visible, very brilliant. And so we will have manually people or persons on the ground controlling uh, the restricted area. And so we take the interest of our citizens and civilians, visitors, everybody at hand because we, we are striving for an accident free project. Because if the project is completed within scope, time, and budget, and yet there's an accident or the loss of life, then the project has not been successful. So we are striving and we're beginning with safety. And so we are making every effort necessary to ensure a safe environment. Great. We want to thank you so much. All right. I think that's going to put a lot of persons in um, the streets that we'll be working at ease. Um, so there will be, as we said, viewers, there will be some traffic diversion. We're working with the traffic department yes. and all affected customers will be informed of the, the diversions, what new routes they'll have to take yes, um, as, the, as the works um, are being executed. Exactly. And Orin, um, so we mentioned that there will be some disruptions to our residents and the business community we're dealing with. But yes. um, this is all for the benefit of our customers. Could you tell us what improvements do you expect upon the completion of this project, the Georgian Sanitation Improvement Program? Exactly. That is the outcome of the project. Mm -hmm. The main outcome of the project is customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. The reduction in disease, diseases that would have been as a result of a poor system where you have leaks and flow and contamination. So the end result of this project is an improved highly efficient and modern sewer system that is being transmitted or transported through improved riser main, ring main, and all the other pipe mains that is connected to the system to ensure an efficient and smooth flow of the sewer from the customer's um, uh, residence to the street and towards the ring main, towards the Atlantic Ocean. Moreover, we have ensured within the project scope to install 24 additional pumps in the existing pump stations. Mm -hmm. At present, m uh, most of the stations carry only one uh, pump. So if that pump goes down, there is a backup and uh, uh, an overflow, basically. Mm -hmm. But with the installation of these new, the 24 pumps, additional pumps, it serves as a backup. So in the event that one pump goes down, there's a backup pump that will keep the system running. And a major attribute of the project as well is continuity. There will be a 24-hour continuous service. And ad in addition to all of that, we have recently purchased a state-of-the-art 8 cubic meter vacuum sewer tanker that will be on standby to relieve any station in the event of any un un unforeseen event. That there will be no spillage, there will be no piling up of, of, of sewer anywhere in Georgetown. We will have the state-of-the-art equipment on board and it will be there to serve in an effective manner. Great. I'm really glad you mentioned that, Oren, because our viewers would have seen our um, news releases on the vacuum pump, and we'll have more information on that in our news segment, our news desk segment tonight. So everything is being done to reduce overflows, to yes. reduce any inconvenience to our customers. So I, I think yes. a lot of persons in Central Georgetown who may experience overflows from time to time yes. will be happy to hear this great news you've brought to them this week, Oren. Um, yes. And in addition to that, we should mention, Oren, that um, 
we have a list of streets which um, our customers would have seen in our full page ads. Yes. But um, are, are there any particular, I know we, we don't want to go through the entire list, our customers yes. will see that full list yes. on our website, on our YouTube page, on our mm. Facebook page, and we'll have it scrolling tonight during the program. But mm. are there any key streets you want to mention? Um, because I know there's some busy streets, I know we work, one of the streets we're working on, I think, is Regent Street yes. as well. So there's some busy streets you need to know about that will we will have to do some traffic diversion as yes. this project is being um, executed. Any key streets you want to mention, Oren? Yes, uh, we would be working assiduously on Waterloo Street, Smite Street, New Market Street, uh, Middle Street, certain parts of Alberton, which are very busy areas, especially during the cool the, the school time, and Brigdam, Upper Hatfield Street, and several others. But these are some of the key streets that are around the central Georgetown mm -hmm. itself that. You know, we need our customers to pay keen attention to because it, it, some amount of disruption would indeed occur along those um, main routes. Agreed. So once again, it's Regent, Sussex, Smite, uh, the New Market, Wellington, parts of uh, Alberton, Upper Border, and close in the in close environs. Great. So you, you heard it there from the project manager himself. So persons in, in those areas, you wanted them to pay keen attention. keen attention. If you've missed anything or would have said tonight, it's going to be on our Facebook page, on our website. We'll give you those links later in the program. And um, this video will be available on our YouTube channel as well. You can look at it at any time on your smartphone, on your iPad, on your desktop, whatever it is. You can um, view it via our YouTube channel. And the list will be published again in um, your weekly newspapers. Yes. And as Timothy mentioned, the complete list of all the streets under the project or comprising the project will be aired. You will have an opportunity to see them. It is advisable that you make note of it, jot it down, write it down somewhere so that you will have a, a list of all of these locations and see if you for if your residence is located in the vicinity of any of these so to take the necessary precautions and the necessary actions. Great, because as we said, um, folks, we will have um, minor, some traffic diversions. So we want yes. you to pay keen attention to that. Mm -hmm. and, but Oren, um, our customers have a huge part to play yes. in the success of this project because um, right now we have issues, and we would have um, discussed it so many times on this program, mm -hmm. customers are dumping garbage into the sewer system. Yes. We have um, our sanitation teams burdened every week, yes. um, removing, um, I think just last week we heard there were some concrete blocks yes. that were removed from a, a sewer chamber. So Oren, what advice do you have for customers because we can do so much it's a huge project so much money being yes. spent by the government of Guyana yes. but without the cooperation of our customers we yes. cannot have a smooth flowing um, efficiently running sewer system yeah. so could you give them some advice on what they need to do their part that they need to play well I implore to the residents of Georgetown please be a good manager of the sewer system this system is being built with you in mind it is an asset for the next generation and generations to come. So I'm asking, I'm imploring all the, 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 city, the city dwellers to ensure that there is no dumping of garbage into the sewer system. We are asking you not to throw any large object, no pieces of wood, cement bags, um, uh, plastic and styrofoams, and all the other discarded material that you might have to, to get rid of. Wait until the, the garbage truck comes around to your location and you can have it discarded there. But please do not dump it into the sewer system. We all have to be good short of this wonderful, valuable asset that our government has seen it fitting and has taken the initiative to go to the length and breadth of giving it some level of priority for us to rehab this entire system. So we are asking, please do not throw garbage into the system because it's going to damage the pumps, it's going to choke the line, it's going to clog the system, and all, most of our, our revenues will have to go back into premature maintenance and replacement of parts and, and components. So you have a part to play. It is your asset. Manage it well. Be a good steward of what has been entrusted to you. Great, that was well said, Oren. And we should mention as well, we have a huge public education program. We're working in the schools, the schools in Central Georgetown, and we will have advisories advising you on what um, the part you should play 
with regard to the success of this program and or the other thing we need to mention that um the hotels as well we're calling on them because we have yes. had a huge issue yes. um with regard to um persons dumping flushing condoms down the toilet and this would cause an overflow in the sewer system so you want to appeal to the hotel owners as well yes well my encouragement to you owners of the hotels and the guest houses you need to dispose of such items in a better way a more effective way you can store them in receptacles, in bins, and have them disposed of when the garbage trucks and other mobile vehicles on land uh, comes around to your premises. But please do not allow them to be dumped into the sewer system. Right. So, bottom line is no dumping of anything, anything into, into the, the sewer, sewer system, system except, should, of course, waste. Waste, right. Waste water. Mm -hmm. And we are also appealing to the hotel and restaurant owners to ensure your business is equipped with what we call a grease trap because grease as we know from restaurants kitchen would normally get into the sewer system would accumulate there and build over time in the form of a sort of wax um, consistency and it will it have the tendency to encrust and encrust and restrict the diameters of the pipe and over time it will become so constricted that it would lose its original functionality so we are appealing to you to get some more information, get some advice. You can come to us at GWI. You can contact the, the sanitation manager. We will be able to provide more detail on the grease trap, which is a very important and useful method. It's a useful tool that you can use to be on top of your business in, in the area of environmental um, cleanliness. So we want to avoid clogging our waterways and our sewer system with grease and, and waste from your from your kitchens. Yeah, so the bottom line here, Oren, is that grease and fat, they can cause overflows. They can clog the Definitely. system and cause overflows. So we want to urge the restaurant owners, of course, there is information on our website. And as Oren correctly said, you can contact our sanitation department and they will advise you on the proper use of the grease trap. But Oren, okay. before we close, I just want to mention some more of those streets. Because as we said, viewers, there'll be a lot of work involved in some traffic diversion, use of large equipment. So we want to just remind you that some of those streets that we'll be executing this project in, um, there'll be New Market Street between Main and Thomas Streets. There'll be Middle Street, um, Light Street, Albertong, Louisa Row, Sussex Street between Smite Street and Louisa Row. Um, all these streets will be working in Waterloo Street as well. And um, yes. these are some busy streets I know. And yes. of course, the Christmas season is fast approaching. And I see um, Regent Street here as well. And I know that is the most popular street during the Christmas season. We want to urge persons to listen to our advisories. Listen, to, um, Check out our Facebook page or website. We will keep you updated on the traffic diversion that will be um, happening there during the execution of this project. Any final notes you want to um, make, Oren, before we close? Yes, I just want to appeal once again our viewers out there, the business community, our customers, you know, by customers, citizens in general, visitors to the city, all of the city dwellers, we're simply asking you to be a good steward of this investment. You have a, a responsibility to ensure that you do your part, to ensure that the system is functional for the next generation and our children, children to enjoy such a wonderful investment and that we can have something to be proud of in the city of Georgetown. Thank you. Great. Oren, thank you so much. And again, You're viewers, welcome. we will give you the information where you can contact us. You can email us. You can visit our website or Facebook page. This video is available on our YouTube page as well. If you missed anything that Oren would have said tonight, go to our YouTube mm -hmm. channel right now and you'll be able to view that video and you'll get all the updates regarding the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program. Oren, you'll be back in our next segment to answer because our viewers would have seen the full page ads in the newspapers. And there was one um, young lady who messaged us on Facebook asking um, if her bridge has to be broken during the project will be reinstated. So we'll answer some of those questions, some of your concerns tonight in our segment of Your Questions Answered. So Oren, we hope you stick around for that. But yes. thanks so much for updating us on the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program. It's a pleasure, Timothy. We'll be right back. This is GWI's Customer Alert. This is GWI's News Desk. I'm Dimali Benjamin in the headlines. $72 million sewage cleaner purchased by the government of Guyana. 
sewage cleaner to assist in reducing sewage overflows in the city. Guyana Water Inc. is in receipt of a 72 million Guyana dollar high vac truck mounted vacuum cleaner purchased by the government of Guyana through the Inter-American Development Bank. According to Chief Executive GWI, Sheikh Bash, the investment is meant to reduce instances of sewage overflows affecting GWI customers in the capital city. This investment forms a critical part of, George, of the Georgetown Sewage Rehabilitation Program, stated the Chief Executive. It will assist with the servicing and maintenance of the existing infrastructure. Indeed, this was a timely investment by the government and our appreciation is extended to the IDB for their partnership on this program. At a cost of $72 million, the tanker will be managed by GWI to maintain the efficient operation of the sewage system. According to GWI's Director of Procurement, Aubrey Roberts, the tanker is equipped with a vacuum pump and a jetter to remove blockages which result in sewage overflows. Indeed, this new asset will significantly enhance our sanitation team in maintaining a fully operational sewage system. Chief Executive Sheikh Bash warned that despite the company acquiring the new asset, customers must cease from abusing the system. I am appealing to all users of the sewer system, stated the Chief Executive. No obstacles must be dumped into the system. Our sanitation team continues to uncover clothing items, cement blocks, old vehicle parts and numerous unwanted objects in the system. This practice by our customers will hamper the efficient operation of the system, which will result in unhygienic overflows. I urge every customer to appreciate that the system is vital for the hygiene and sanitation of the city and should not be abused. That's it for GWI's News Desk. I'm Dimali Benjamin reminding you to make every drop count. Your questions answered. I'm Dimali Benjamin and I have with me project manager for the GSIP, Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program, Mr. Oren Brown. Welcome. Thank you, Dimali. A customer by the name of Margaret Dover posted on Facebook asking if my bridge has been broken to, facil to facilitate civil works for the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program. Will it be repaired by GWI? Yes. All structures, be it bridge or other form of entrances, once it has been broken or has been touched by our construction team, which is the, the, the civil contractors, it is a responsibility, it is a part of the contract to reinstate the, the property, the bridge, the walkway, the entrances to its original state or better. And I must repeat, to its original state or better. It's a policy of our company that once we have disrupted any property of a customer, 
it will be restored and we try to have that being have that restored within the shortest possible time within a couple of days or within the same day based on the nature of the work involved so yes we are happy to say that if we if we broke your, your bridge that bridge will be reinstated and it would be reinstated to its original condition or even better okay thank you very much uh, thank you mr brown for you, more information on the georgetown sanitation improvement program you can like us on facebook at facebook.com backslash every drop comes gy that's it for your questions answered Thanks for making us part of your week. That's it for this week's broadcast of GWI's Customer Alert. And Damali, tonight we updated our viewers on the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program, the GSIP. But we want to urge um, all the customers of Central Georgetown or and the business community um, within that vicinity to keep updated on everything happening with the program. You can do so by, of course, there's a website, Damali, um, gwiagana.com. We've created a special page for the program, we'll be updating you on all the streets we'll be in doing civil work. So if you have any more questions, visit our website. And if you saw anything tonight you have you want further clarification on, you can email the public relations department and that email address is pro at gwy.gy. And of course, the Mali, there's our Facebook page. Yes, it's www.facebook.com backslash every drop comes GY. Right, so any concerns, any questions they have, they can post on the wall of our Facebook page or you can send us a mail via inbox. And the Mali, there's also our new, I'm, so, I'm still excited about this, every week I say this, but our YouTube page is garnering hundreds of views. You or our customers are um, tuning in to us on our YouTube channel. And we want to urge you again, if you if you miss anything on the program, that if you're joining us a bit late, you can go to the YouTube page and you will see more information on the Georgian Sanitation Improvement Program with the project manager, Mr. Oren Brown. That's available on our YouTube page. You can check it. And the Mali, how, let's tell them how they can find that page. Well, you can type in Guyana Water Inc. in the YouTube search bar and there you can view the GSIP um, information right there. Right, the entire video is posted there and you can um, view it anytime on your smartphone, on your desktop, on your iPad, whatever you have. There's no excuse not to be updated on what's happening with GWI, especially the Georgetown Sanitation Improvement Program. There's so many streets, um, the money that Oren would have mentioned tonight, New Market Street, Middle Street, and particularly Regent Street. So you want all those persons living in that community to know that you can get this information, you can find out about the traffic diversion, whatever it is with regard to this program. I'm gonna urge you, of course, to visit our YouTube page. We're posting videos there every week to update you what's happening with the program and um, Damali I left our um, pin number for last because we, we want to ask of course Vishal and his team to leave that pin number up as long as possible because it's the quickest way to get in contact with us and some some customers complained last week that we didn't have it up long enough for them to add us to their Blackberry messenger but we want to urge you the pin number is currently on your screen we leave it up as as long as possible you can add us to your Blackberry messenger send us questions concerns especially about the GSIP you can send us a message and we will address those concerns um, when you add us to your Blackberry messenger so the money there's really no excuse and not to know what's happening with GWI. There's YouTube, there's Facebook, there's our BlackBerry pin number, and there's our website, gwiguyana.com. So we want to urge you to get in contact with us. Email us, Facebook us, whatever it is. We want to hear from you about your concerns about this special program. We want to thank so many people, um, Damari. We want to thank um, our project manager, Oren Brown. We want to thank Mark Doris, who did so many things. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> On behalf of the NCN team here this week, we want to thank, of course, Vishal and his team in graphics. And Laverne is off, but we're happy that Damali is here <laughs> filling in. You did an excellent job at the news desk tonight. And, of course, thank your you. questions answered. Thanks so much, Damali. Thank you. Great. But until next week, again, we want to urge you to get in contact with us. If you have any questions that you would have seen, something you would have seen tonight on our show, get in contact with us. But until next week, I'm Timothy Austin. And I'm Damali Benjamin, reminding, reminding you, you to, to be, be conservation, conservation conscious. conscious. Thank <laughs> you.